What's going on, beautiful people, man? It is January 8th, Friday, TGIF, man. Glad you made it. Welcome, y'all. It's Robbie Rob back in the sesh, dude. We're doing another sesh on Friday. Thank God it's Friday, man. I'm looking forward to the weekend all week. It's been a hell of a week, man. A lot of ups and downs, as per usual. But, you know, man, that's it. You just got to keep a positive attitude, keep going through it, and we're going to get through this together, you guys. I know it's... uh. The new year, it's 2021, it kind of still feels a little bit, you feel that residue, dog. You feel that residue from 2020. A lot of things still hanging on, lingering on. We should let go of a lot of things, guys, yeah? I bet you guys agree. You know, a lot of silliness that we've been all holding on to for some time. Again, going back to all the isms, this, that, and the other. And, man, you know, I keep a eye out on things, different things. Whether it's local or global or even sometimes personal, I keep a, you know, I try to keep a balance, you know, try to be aware of myself, of my surroundings, of the world, and a lot of things are unfolding, a lot of things are happening, and you and I are way more important now than ever before, like our roles have become very important, you guys, each individual Sorry, I just got a hair on my face. Sorry about that. Yeah, our roles are really important, you guys. I need everybody to start taking more responsibility because there are a lot of, as I said before, there are a lot of great institutions in place and stuff, but like the media right now has been talking about the corporate media on every side, left, right. The things that you see are not presented to you wholeheartedly and it's not portraying a just fact-based or truth-based portrayal of events. Everything that you're seeing is a lot, a lot of it is manipulated. So don't let that, like yes, there's definitely events unfolding. There's definitely, you know, obviously we saw what happened or the last few days. I don't even want, that's the thing, I don't want to give it power. I don't want to give it too much. Uh, they've, they've already done it, you know? Bunch of knuckleheads decide to do something a little cuckoo. Media decides to focus on it, amplify it. We all get more scared. And again, I've talked about this, man. What happens when we all act from a place of fear? It leads to more government involvement in your everyday lives. And we need to stop that silliness. We do need the government, but there should be a balance, right? Yeah, man, there should definitely be a balance. And honestly, let's again, let's try to just breathe for a second. Let's try to relax a little bit. Let's try to calm down a little bit. Let's try to not act irrationally. And let's move forward a little bit, you know, thinking a little bit more wisely about the things we do, whether it's individual or collective. This is the time to come together, man. Like, we just need to get our, like, things together, our personal acts and our collective acts, and just align, you know? Put out more go uh, more positive vibes, put out more uh, creative ideas out there, get together, work together, you know? Uplift each other, and there's always going to be that portion of the population doing whatever it is, to make a buck, to get a little bit of attention, right? And there's a right way of making money and getting attention. There's a wrong way of doing it. And to each their own. Everybody can choose a path. But, yeah, there's definitely things going on, but there's, you know, there's definitely fires that are being fanned. You feel me? Yeah. Don't buy into everything you read or see, you know? It's always good to question things. Use your own intuition question your own intuition as well because that could be tricky as well right don't go up solely based on your intuition but what i'm saying is people need to start taking more personal responsibility asking more difficult questions and demanding a little bit more from themselves and collectively and from our governments too right it can't be just pointing fingers is easy scapegoating is easy it's, it's always I'm not, I'm not here to blame anybody we're all humans and everybody in their heart, I think, is trying their best and doing their best. But sometimes, you know, we get caught up in whatever it is that we get caught up. And we forget the important things. I'm just here to remind you and remind myself to stay focused and be grateful, man. This week, 
It was a challenging week. It was a good week. It was a learning period for me again. And I want to take the time to thank you guys. You know, everybody who's tuning in to watch these videos, everybody who's going on YouTube, checking out the videos. And was who so anybody who subscribes, anybody who likes the video, like I re it really means a lot. It feels like a family that's growing little by little. I feel like our hearts and our minds are connecting little by little and we get to know each other like this. And it feels like a community, so I appreciate that. I appreciate what you guys have provided and hoping to be in addition to that, you know? Whatever little part I can do, that's it. Be positive and do good things, you know? I'll tell you something that's been on my mind lately. It's been on my mind for a couple of years now. Been acting on it a little bit and it's been weighing on me for the past couple of weeks because it's kind of it kind of coincides with what I want to be doing and it's stand up and it's comedy and I really appreciate what I'm doing right now and it's you know what guys it's crazy that's the thing you get so caught up in the pace of life and everything moves so fast and I can't believe it's been almost five and a half, six months that I've been doing these videos with you guys and it's been such a cool interaction. I've learned so much, grown every day and looking back to where I started from, to where I am, personally I'm happy. It's not a big, big accomplishment but it is kind of, it is for me a little bit to be honest. It, it means a lot to me because it, the biggest thing it means to me is that I, I said that I'll do something and I'll keep it consistent and I've been coming in consistently and I've been, I'm, I'm proud of that aspect of it. Now mind you, it's going to take a lot of work to actually, you know, get really good at comedy and I don't even like, I can, that's the thing, I'm a wannabe right now, right? I'm an outsider just trying to carve my own path with the help of good people around me. And... It's humbling, dude. It's humbling to see everybody's journey, everybody's different paths, and you just got to be willing to learn and open up your eyes or open up your eye. And little by little, things start to make sense, but a big part of this whole comedy thing, this whole stand-up thing that's been weighing on me is I've kind of built it in my head the way that I see it as I think I'll be doing a lot of traveling anyway when things open up properly. But a big part of that traveling in my mind, is going to be centered in the U.S. That's where I've kind of been imagining myself moving to or working from. Not that I can't do it from here. I love my city. I love my home. I love Toronto. I'll always, you know, it's Toronto's home, man. Canada's home. I love my country. I love my neighbors. I love my neighborhood. But for what I want to do, I thought that it would make more sense for me to travel down south. And I'm trying everything. I'm trying... and. You know, yesterday I'll get it to I'll get it a little bit more personal, man. Yesterday I'm just like, and every second, like you guys, I'm constantly thinking of a different idea to incorporate into my work, add to it, make it better. You know, part of that is I'm like, how can I move to the U.S. if I really wanted to move to the? And the thing is, being in Canada, being Canadian, I can obviously, you know, we have relatively easy movement. You know, not considering the circumstances, but. Besides that, we got relatively good relationships with our country, so we can we can go back and forth. I'm not too concerned about that, but a part, like, a part of my brain was thinking if I were to get a green card, it would make my day easier just to work there as well, right? And I don't expect anything, right? But just having that paperwork, I guess it would make my life easier. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to that if, you've, if you're a dual citizen, Canadian, American, you feel me. But uh, it's not easy getting that green card, right? So I've just been thinking about it. I'm like, I can definitely like, you know, get in my car, move there, start, you know, hitting up spots that are willing to give me a little bit of stage time so I can start to build that muscle as well. And uh, yeah, yesterday I just texted my aunt asking for assistance in terms of like whether or not she and the fam know anybody that can assist me with like moving to the US. And she took her time, she's so sweet. I love her, man. I love my aunt. I love, like, my family is, like, even though we don't see a lot of us are in different places of the world, I don't even communicate with a lot of my family. That's the thing when it happens, man. Like, uh, I'm an immigrant kid that's, you know, I'm a, my background's coming from an immigrant background, right? So I've lost a lot of family just due to movement. 
but I do keep in touch now and again with a few of them. And whoever I've been in touch with, they've been so lovely and supportive in every way they can. But I reached out, asked if she knows anybody or that we can do anything. And uh, unfortunately, there's not much she can do. But I really, that's the thing. What I, what I really appreciate from people is sometimes just, you know, being there. Whether it's, you know, you send a text or you make mm -hmm. a phone call. And it uh, goes a long way. goes a really long way. So at the time being, I flip that stone, see what's underneath it. That's not going to be an option for me. So at least, you know, the... It was weighing on me because I'm like, is that maybe an option that I could potentially try? So now that's eliminated. And it feels like, you know, life's just providing more uh, ways to make lemonade, right? You guys can relate to that. If you're having obstacles thrown at you, don't worry about it. But a part of that, it kind of, you know, something else went off in my mind. Going through yesterday, I uh, had the opportunity to meet up with a lovely friend and had a brief conversation it's just like I don't know maybe I'm not and I think for the most part I think I'm really I, I try to be grounded I try to be mindful and grateful of the things that I have and of, of the circumstances that I have available to me it's a blessing dude I'm not gonna lie like I've again I've told you guys this a million times I'm not a baller I'm not some sort of like I'm just I'm an average person like you guys doing his best trying his you know trying to go after his passion but point that I'm trying to make is sometimes you know it may be maybe I was a little bit disillusioned is what I'm trying to say maybe I was maybe because of the circumstances it's nine months we're all getting a little bit antsy getting a little bit antsy pantsy you start thinking of different things right you're like oh maybe I should move and to be honest I love my place it's just like it's been nine months going into a year and I want to, like, that's the thing, I want the comedy clubs to open up in the city, I don't, like, that's the, th if it was available here, I'd just go down here, but there's nothing open. And a part of that is, like, I'm, I'm happy about the fact that I get in front of you guys, do this, and sometimes it's not even a comedic vibe to it, sometimes it's just, like, today I'm just pouring my heart out, and I, that's the thing, I really appreciate you guys coming and checking it out, because, like I said, we're family, and this is you getting to know your boy. So I do appreciate it, and I bet there's a lot of you out there that are, like, you know, considering different moves, considering different things, weighing your options. But that's the thing. The ultimate goal is in my head to go after my dreams, to go after comedy, to be able to do it better and better. And sometimes, you know, it may not be necessarily distractions, but alternative things that you're thinking to incorporate into your routine or your life so you can grow and learn more. And... You know what, after turning that stone, I realized maybe it's best to just uh, focus on what I've got. I am I should be very grateful. I've got a roof over my head, I've got food in my belly, and I've got a place to live. And it's a, it's become my workspace now. Over the past few months, it's slowly become my workspace as well. So I really appreciate you guys bearing with me, being patient with me. And it's I can do a lot with this. I can do a lot with this sitting where I am, being surrounded with the people that I am, and maybe that was the lesson that I needed to learn. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. And we all need those reminders. Sometimes the things that you're looking for, they're right in front of you, you know? But in our minds sometimes, because maybe, again, I try to ground myself, be as mindful as I can, but who, who can't relate to getting ahead of themselves? You know what I mean? Like, you, you want to do things and everybody wants to, and I, I'm not saying I want to jump many steps at a time, but I've, I'm constantly thinking of how to do it better. Can I move to another location that will allow me to be a little bit more flexible with my movement? And if that's not going to happen, that's what I like, man. I like us to stand up, say what's right, don't just act from fear, so we can get our freedoms back so that we don't have to, so that if we decide to move or travel, it's with freedom, not out of fear. And that's the thing I realized, I'm like, am I acting from a place of fear or am I acting from a place of love? And it felt like a little bit of both. Like I love the place that I'm in, but I'm acting from a place of fear as in that maybe I don't necessarily see opportunities here for me where I'm like, maybe I should just, I'm, I'm actually doing a lot here, little by little creating opportunities for myself and hopefully work like I'm, I'm hoping to work with other people down the line you know it's not just it can't be a one-man act forever but I know it's going to take some time I'm going to have to be patient and that again that is a lesson that we can all just you know learn every day again and again repeat to yourself just be more patient and keep trying 
don't stay stagnant and that's not what I'm doing but that's the thing that's been weighing on me for the past several weeks several months up to two years now this option I've even made that's the thing I've mentioned this before when I get going after something I'm very serious about it last year I was already kind of ready set go and I like sold all my stuff donated a bunch of stuff in my apartment took a trip down to San Diego checked out the sitch down there just to you know see what's going on feel out the city a little bit get a good vibe for it you know so I'm down to potentially working in the US I'm down to travel and but we do need a little bit more you know easing of these restrictions and I feel bad for people and I don't some some things I don't even want to highlight like but I do have to mention aspects of it like I hear you know curfews in this place and that place guys it's getting it's now become very clear that this is all being politicized and it's a big power grab and I would like to know from the politicians what's your big plan what do you guys have planned what's the agenda because there's no science or proof you know there everything's just based on you you get and I'm not an expert but this is that's why I'm there there must be so many different experts but we're relying on one or two sources at a time on a very diverse topic and we're just you know you go and have an interview with the health health minister for example you know and the, the, they just you know see it from a health pers from a, from their perspective sorry I got a little brain fart there they don't see the other repercussions of the lockdowns they don't see all the businesses that have you know 50 50% 50 of businesses like restaurants 75% of some cities and some localities have closed down due to the lockdowns people are businesses are crumbling major major businesses are cr like crumbling right in front right below me right at the intersection that I'm at there used to be a Starbucks and it's closed now and that's a that's a terrifying sign you know when you see a big corporation like Starbucks closing hundreds of locations that's a scary time you guys and I'm not even a whatever like to each their own I get my coffee from Tim's <laughs> you know what I'm saying but I do like to have places where people used to go to hang out study a little bit have a cup of coffee meet up with a friend and it was a business right and you had the mom and pop shops and the little local coffee shops or restaurants or comedy clubs places of gathering right and I just like I, I want to know like what's going on like if, and if if you're gonna give lockdowns like this there must be some sort of proper rationale behind it and there must be some sort of agenda to you know deal with the economic troubles you guys are causing why is there not a rent freeze you know like or are we gonna have a universal basic income because literally I don't know anybody who's not in need right now I literally don't know and I'm sure there's always a portion of the population that's doing really well and good for you but everybody needs a little bit of assistance but people for the most part like to be independent and work for their money and help build something people don't like handouts for the most part and I just want to know I just want to know is it like what's your plan be a little bit more clear it's been nine months it's going into a year doesn't seem to be fading I just want a little bit more answer and clarity in terms of what the big long-term plan is but I guess we'll have to be patient I don't have the answers you guys and I know we're all just that's the thing it weighs on my mind because it impacts me and impacts you guys so I want you to stop thinking whatever you read is 100% fact, guys, because it's not. Nothing is, like, it's so hard to find a little bit of truth. you got to do a lot of work, okay? The wearing of the masks. I'm not an anti-masker. I've mentioned this a million times. The closing down of restaurants early in the evening and then going to only, you know, takeout, this, that, and there's so many rules and regulations have been put into place and everybody's abiding for the most part but you know there must be some give back you know it can't be just like close down everything not take care of people and expect people to come and vote for you next time 
You're losing confidence in people is what I'm trying to say. Get it together. Man, oh man. So I'm looking forward to this weekend. Just I need a past couple of weeks. Been taking a lot of things in, trying to move forward now. So now that I know this is, you know, again, taken a few steps, I've reassessed my situation. I think the best thing for me and us, you guys as well, too, is probably just grassroots and staying local, I guess. That's the thing I... Try to be the change wherever you are. I probably should just, you know, stay focused here. That's what I got from the past several weeks and trying to make sense of everything. I think the overall message that I'm receiving is stay put, keep doing what you're doing. And little by little, we'll come together and every everything's going to be okay, you guys. I am here to remind you and just tell you everything's going to be okay. If you're having a bad day, if you're going through ups and downs, trust me, your boy hears you. Your boy feels you. I'm right there with you guys, okay? It's not easy, but we will get through this together. I know it's 2021. That's why I mentioned in the beginning of this video, let's uh, forget about a lot of, you know, petty stuff, a lot of just silly stuff, and move forward. I want people to be constantly, consistently growing and working on their overall well-being. I don't want to see anybody down. I don't want to see anybody in a bad spot. So let's uplift each other. Let's get it together and... I'll leave it on that note, you guys. If you like the videos, and I, I'm beginning to think you guys are liking the videos a little bit, and, you know, I'll have to mix it up, you guys. Like I said, I'm not going to be... I don't I don't stick to the script. Excuse me. I don't stick to the script, you guys. I don't... Uh, there are no rules. This is all... I'm making it as I'm going, okay? So thank you again for putting up with it. Thank you for liking it because I see some of you guys are really liking it out there and it's it's encouraging. It means a lot. I appreciate you. I love you. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Like the videos on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on YouTube. You can search Rob Sadri or glad you made it on YouTube. Subscribe, like the videos, and we're growing, baby. And I want you to go out there and get it. Whatever your dreams are, especially in the arts, man. If you're a musician, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a writer, if you're whatever, like even in the martial arts, dude, whatever, like I want people to go after their passions. If you're a singer, dancer, whatever it is, go after it, believe in yourself, and I'm here to support you, and I need your support too, you guys. Sending you a lot of love. Stay safe out there. Have a good weekend. I'm going to come in on Monday with a great, great attitude. We're going to kick butt and rock and roll, baby. Let's do this. Peace out, everybody.